It's always exciting to be at the front of something that may have a real impact and the larger impact we may have on healthcare. And that means trying to design high-level research, prospective studies that are gonna move us toward best care for people, change the field. Our intent with this study is to be able to take care of our patients safely, effectively, document this, get them to where they need to be, and collect really clear information that's gonna be able to take this to the next step, more widespread adoption in the US. My specialty, interventional radiology, which means high-tech image-guided, minimally invasive procedures, have really been in the vanguard of developing tremendous numbers of treatments that are taken for granted. This particular area, which is embolization in the prostate, to me, is at really the beginning in the US, a really exciting time for defining the place of this in US healthcare. Benign prostatic hypertrophy, basically a condition that middle-aged or older men get in which the prostate slowly enlarges over time. And as it gets bigger, it also squeezes inwards on the urethra, which is the tube that takes urine from the bladder. And as it squeezes it down, it basically constricts it so you can't pee. There are a lot of variations in our plumbing, in our arteries that supply the prostate. Actually, tremendous amounts of variation. So the first thing we do is make a map. We're moving this tiny little tube, the catheter, through the arteries into the ones that we're particularly interested in. In this case, we're on the left side of the pelvis. These are all the branches to the buttock and the bladder. And we've identified one that heads toward the prostate. We make our way all the way down this one with a smaller one, almost like a telescope, one coming out of the other. Now we're very deep down in the artery that really just supplies the prostate. We recognize that this is what it is, and this is our point where we're gonna inject the blocking particles. So the injection of the blocking particles, these microscopic tiny little ping pong balls, if you will, are injected under live imaging. We can see them go in until we've stopped the blood flow to the degree that we want. That's the thing that cuts off the blood supply, causes the prostate to gradually shrink over time. My particular interest in having been part of many of these is helping our field move toward the most prospective, rigorously controlled data that really allows us to put this information head to head against other treatments, be able to tell our patients where this stands, what their options are, and where that fits in the menu.